Hello and welcome to another Brit Plays Flight and Review and today we're taking out the A10 from Demos Inc. So this is the A10C Thunderbolt 2. Uh, I'm using the 74th uh, FS, I guess that's Fighter Squadron's uh, livery. What I will do is I will run through this aircraft, how to cold and dark, we'll go through the checklist, show you what uh, is available for this aircraft. Um, also going to show you the maintenance side to this, so it does have uh, more than just uh, the ability to fly. But what we might do is we might actually get in really close and have a quick look at some detail. So we do have our uh, tags. I do like that. It's a good touch. Uh, some of the stuff just sitting in the uh, wind there blowing around. Now we don't have the uh, Gatling gun. This is a um, Marketplace and Xbox release. You're not allowed to have weapons according to a Sobo slash Microsoft uh, Terms of service for Microsoft Flight Sim. If you release it outside of the Marketplace then maybe you can. Now if you've seen my previous review for the Bredock, uh, no, the MS Scenery uh, A10, it had the gun completely missing. They also had their fuel cap, which I thought was a camera uh, thing at first, because it had no cap over it. Uh, this does, it actually has a, uh, I'm not sure that's supposed to be a laser sighting system. I believe it does actually move in there. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll have to try that out later, or at least try and remember to. Um, we are in cold and dark. Uh, obviously, the pilot is inside. I popped the canopy already. Uh, we do have the plugs for the engines. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll actually go out oh, and our chocks. We'll go and um, press some buttons and I'll show you what this actually does. Uh, there's also uh, quite a few liveries. Um, I might actually show the liveries right here. Okay, the liveries we have are the 74th the 47th uh, it does have a different uh, face in the front it's got the hog on it we do have the 184th uh, 184th has also got another uh, graphic on the front uh, another hog but a slightly different one these are actually done quite well this is a fly flying razorbacks we also have the 122nd. Actually, that's the snake front on this one. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, well done. Go a little bit quicker through the rest of these. Got the 100th in a dark livery. Also has uh, the graphic on the front. Okay, thank you. Don't need that. Demo team, uh, light green and light grey uh, paint job. We have the 75th anniversary P47 uh, style uh, livery. We've got a 107th in a Red Devil, is it? I think. Um, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, 100 years of uh, the 47th Desert Camo. Quite good. We also have a 47th jungle camo, which is mostly a grey greenish uh, colour on that. We have the 355th Arctic. So you've got your Arctic camo, Arctic thunder written on the back there. It looks like it's got the Alaska uh, map on there. And we also have a 57th Jaws uh, with a spotted uh, livery. I'm not sure if that's got a camo on the front. Let's have a look. No. A very spotted one. Uh, so that's the liveries, and let's get back to the review. Okay, so let's go and check out the inside of this aircraft, shall we? All right. Um, our canopy. Nice, nice sound of that. Quite happy with that. Uh, but we will actually leave it open. And if we want to extend our ladder, there we go, ladder is coming down. Uh, each one of these has a different uh, picture on the inside. Let's see if we go back to this uh, camera. 
So this particular one has uh, the Batman comic, the F-35 is capable of slap, the A-10 is better. So uh, yeah, there is, there, oop, too fast. There's a little um, bit of uh, different pictures on each different livery for this. So every single livery has a different inside the uh, ladder picture, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the textures, okay, we're going a little too fast here. Let's try and slow this down for you guys. Maybe a little faster than that. Um, the textures are not uh, painted on uh, ridge lines and rivets. So if you see when I move across here and the sun's shining on the rivets there, there is a shadow that comes from a different uh, side. So some decent uh, detail here. Uh, we can't get into the engines just yet, but what we will do, when we get uh, the thing started up, we'll actually take it for another run around the views. Um, I'm going to pop it down here for now for our maintenance hatch. So this maintenance hatch here, let's go inside and that's not the button to do it. Let's go and open that maintenance hatch. Okay, so we're opening up the engines and we also drop down the, uh, I'm on the wrong camera, that's right. Um, you can't press any of the buttons here, so basically there is nothing uh, pressable, but it would be uh, available. We also do have the engine cowlings open, or covers, uh, because we still have the blocks on. Um, Great attention to detail. I mean, this is something that didn't need to be done. Uh, same on the other side, still have our chocks in. Yep. Uh, don't know if we can start them up with those things open. That might be something to try sometime. Now, we also have a fueler. Uh, again, wrong button. We have the fueling uh, pod now. Got to remember where that switch is. Um, there we go. So the fueling panel is actually detailed as well. Uh, don't think you can press any of these. No. Okay. Um, look, attention to detail. I love it. Okay, so let's see if we can press that correct buttons now and close that. Very good. I will go through the full checklist here. Close our engine covers and our maintenance uh, panel. Very good. All right. <clears throat> so with that, uh, what I'll do is I'll put some chapters in here. If you are watching this and you go, ah, oh, not worry about the startup. I just want to see what it looks like to fly. Check that the chapters should be in there. Um, so what we will do is go through the checklist. I'll show you all the stuff you get. So fairly detailed checklist. Cockpit preparation. Emergency brake is on. Parking brake. Well, it was on. It is on now. Canopy is open. Check. Ladder is open. Check. Throttle position is idle. Okay. Oh, we do have a pilot here. Okay. From this view, you do get to see the pilot. Okay. Check. Main power is on. Nope, but it will be. Batteries are on. Navigation lights on. Cabin lights as required. Uh, I don't remember where these are. I think it's one of these dials, actually. Hang on. Formation. Where was instrument lights? Instrument lights. Oh, map brightness. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to even bother with those. With daylight. Panel uh, as required. Yeah. APU on. We do need to do that. So where's my APU? It's up there. 
and check that it gets to 100%. Pretty loud with the uh, cockpit open, obviously. How do they get to 120%? Oh, yeah, that's 100%. Looks like 99 from this angle. I'll go tick. Engine starts, avionics on. Uh, oh, hang on, where's my avionics button? Is that a highlight? Okay, we do need to check where my avionics are. Okay, so that one's not highlighting. Avionics master is on, that's what I needed, yes. If it was highlighting, it was only the end of it, and I was not seeing that. Anti-collision lights, I did see those before, yep. It's been a while since I've done this the last time. Boost pumps left. There's your boost pumps left. Uh, boost pumps left wing. Engine one start. Starting. Right, okay. Make sure it gets to and I'll tip that. hear it. So if we come out, you see engine one is starting up. So there's your fan blades. What am I looking for? Engine one uh, INST 60%. Tends are going up percent RPM. And through the 40s, through the 50s. No, right, coming up to 60%. Both on RPM and PSI. I would say that's a tick. Start the right engine. Up with one. Wing boost pump, thank you. On. Engine to start, so it's these little levers underneath. Click and then go starting. Yep, okay. Tip go to make sure that gets to 60% as well. It's getting pretty noisy. We will drop the canopy in a moment. I might actually drop my volume, make sure you guys can still hear me. Okay, what are we doing? Waiting for this to run through to 60%. We'll have our pilot view from here. All right, running up. And we're going outside. Getting a bit of heat blur, yep. Alright, PSI is coming up to 60%, I'm going to tick that as done, after the engine start, APU off, so come back over to the APU and it's over here underneath the throttle, canopy closed, alright good, we should be able to hear a different noise, get rid of some of that engine noise, good, I like that, oxygen, On, tick your sass left and right, tick pitch left and right, enunciator, no lights, nope, no lights, tick, I believe that's this thing here, I'm no expert on this. Uh, 
Parking brake is set. I don't really need that. Uh, let's go back to default view. Thank you. Default view doesn't have the pilot here. Um, I can't remember if there's a view pilot on this one. I'll have to look at that again. Okay, so park brake is set. Fuel selectors, check they are on. Uh, I think that's these ones that we turned on, isn't it? The pumps? Fuel selectors. Wait, hang on. Where's the fuel selectors? Check that they are on. It's none of these inoperative. What's that? Some override inoperative. Okay. So there are a couple of things that are still inoperative. I don't know whether to check the fuel. Check that they are both on. Yes, they are. Pito heat check is off. Pito heat is off. I don't turn that on yet. Okay, engine master. Check both are off. Engine master. Where's our engine master? Okay, that one doesn't come up. I'm not sure what it is I'm checking there. I don't think that's my... It might actually be these two. So that we're not uh, running the ignition all the time. Uh, this is after start. Engine master check is off. Avionics master switch check off. Why would that be off? It's almost like it's uh, shutting down. Uh, I'm not sure that's in order. Gear selection check is down. Well, if it wasn't, we'd be on the ground. Flaps check up. Uh, I know my flaps are up. All electrical equipment is off. Well, hang on, why are we turning everything off? Pre-flight inspection. Ah, oh, hang on, we've gone back, that's why. After start. No, yep, starting engine. Okay. All electrical equipment off. Electrical master on, fuel quantity check. Okay, I think these are out of order. So I'm just going to go, thank you, before starting engine, no, 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 we've already started the engine. Okay, so we've, we've got some of that out of order. Uh, power leaves, idle, parking brake set, avionics switch, all, uh, check off, gear selection, um, alternators check, both on, yes, fuel pump check off, no, I'm not going to actually do that, starting engine, right, so it's actually gone back through another level, right, okay, now I understand what's happening. Strobe lights. Do we have strobe lights? That's my panel lights. Compass lights. Strobe light, it is on. Yes. Engine master on. And that's and now look, we've done all this. I think there's a second. That's there we go. There's, there's two lots of this instruction, so we might have to. Um, let the dev know that hey it's repeating itself uh, it wasn't before okay so that there you go now it's lit up with avionics so that first one on our other page I think was the incorrect thing power levers are, as required 50% uh, if engine uh, make sure they're not to use more than 50% throttle before the engine temperature is warm enough all right we're warm enough with my temps, they're at 40%, fourth hour, whatever that is. Much equipment as required, flight instruments as required, you know what? Yep. Position lights and landing as required. 
we do have taxi lights and lights up here. Trim. Right, now we can taxi. Okay, flaps is under here to Always oh, also up here. Alright, for so take off. We want to have a look at how far the flaps do go down. Second level, first level. Alright. Oh, Alright, no. First level, second level, third level. Alright, cool. I think I dragged it too far. Alright, take off. Taxi light on. I already pointed that out, but we'll do it anyway. So, down I think it is for taxi light. Let's go and have a look at that. There we go. Tick, emergency brake off, which we already know is there. You can uh, click it off if you've got it on your controls, which I'll just check. Yep, that's it. That's on my controls. All right. Okay, so this is once we've finished taxiing. Uh, Fuel pump left and right hand check off. Fuel selector cross feed left and right. And the fuel selector on. I believe there's these ones down here. Do we actually turn them off? So that's not actually lighting up. So these are something I might have to ask the dev. I thought this was my fuel pump left and right hand side. Why would I turn them off on takeoff? Or the engine actually runs it. Someone can actually put a uh, comment down below. But the fuel selector is on. I think that's the one behind here, is it? Alright, we're going to have to have a bit more of a play with this, I think. Canopy close, arm seat. Oh, I do need to arm my seat, don't I? Uh, here we go. Armed. Thank you. I'm just going to... I don't know why I went there. Oh, right, because it's, it's sitting next to it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's actually close this. Have a bit more fun. We'll actually take off. So... Um, look, you do have a lot of things you can do uh, and move and modify that are not actually on the uh, checklist. So, let's go through some of these. You do have, okay, so these, those ones are inoperative actually. No, these ones are all uh, operative. Cool. Yep, normal. SF clean, air brake in. I'm guessing that's inoperative. No, it's not. That probably says out, doesn't it? Nothing pops up. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. They, they actually work really well. Let's try that again with my controls. Yep. Very cool. What else we need to cover? Some inoperatives. MC out. What are they? Replay test master code. No, don't actually know myself. Someone else can, who knows more about this could uh, say that. Um, speed brakes are on the side, are they? Engine starts underneath. Yes, we knew that. None of these up top. Rudder trim. We do have rudder trim. Although... I think we have rudder trim is behind here. Yeah, there we go. Not on the uh, front there. Okay, so what we do have is IFFCC. IFF I'm not sure if these are part of your weapons or not. Uh, gun arm, well. Safe or oh, it's a down arm. Okay, and the laser does that actually move this thing to the front now? Yes, it does. All right, there we go. There's our laser thing working. So rather than having nothing at the front there uh, and losing that Gatling gun altogether, 
there's how you turn the laser uh, part on. Very nice. We have standby menu. Uh, you can actually go through those checklist engine. Yep, there we go. Status. There's actually a record button there. HUD. Okay. Same as what I should be seeing up there. Um, well done. Glad that works. Alright, what do we have up the top here? I'm just going to go through the aircraft continually here, seeing what is available. I don't think you can actually press any of these ones. No, this, this uh, top part is not functional. Um, we do have a heading hold. Uh, can we hide the stick? Let's try that. Yes, hide yoke. Alright, what we have uh, down below here is some inoperatives. Okay, but we do have ILS mode, T can mode, GPS mode. We do have our heading and we have our course select. Okay, unfortunately that's inoperative. I think that might be our uh, weapon stuff there as well. Okay, fuses, uh, it's not high fidelity enough to have the fuses actually work or not work. You're probably not going to get that in Flight Sim anyway. Go to DCS for that. Um, okay. We actually do have all of these. Uh, not the top one is working. Um, not exactly sure what I just did there. Uh, don't do the API. Okay, inverter is off. Inverter standby. Emergency power is on by the looks of it. Battery on. Alternators, yes. Flow, oxygen. Uh, oh, you can actually put in 100% oxygen instead of normal can't do a test okay uh, not pressable anti-ice yes you can uh, windshield de-ice that's where you uh, that is canopy defog don't think I'm going to need that bleed air main air supply is off pito heat uh, we might actually turn on now that we're about to take off and then you bleed air you can actually oh, you can actually increase that okay cool uh, formation lights, yes, we do want those on. Let's go have a look. Formation lights are these green ones on the side here. They light up very nicely. Well, we did put our ladder up. We did, yeah. Um, actually, if the camp, if this red um, button is covered, then it is definitely uh, closed. Anti-collision lights are already on. Auxiliary lights are off. I can't actually work out how to press that. I'm pressing but nothing's happening. Nose light on. Okay, there's your little ones here. Instrument lights. Again, I can't seem to get that one to work. Panel lights. Uh, no, it doesn't require that. Panel light brightness. Okay, that's a rolly ball. And, um, I'm not sure how to get that one working. It does have a mouse button on it, but nothing's happening. Panel lights, uh, that's a click on. Okay, see how it goes green? We'll actually have that on. Uh, map brightness, that would be this map here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, look, it's sunlight shining anyway, so. All right, let's go through the views. Uh, these are the default uh, hat views. I'm using the hat controls on my uh, flight stick. We do have a reverse, in close on the map, right panel, up front, uh, left, left panel. That's actually an easy way to go and press buttons. Uh, over the shoulder and back to uh, looking from behind, okay. And if we go one forward, no, there is no. Oh, yeah. We do have that 
one forward. Okay, uh, let's take this for a flight. Do we have our park brake is already off? We're sitting there with the park brake off. All right, turn is quite easy. I do like how this thing handles. All right, while we are taxing very slowly here, I uh, will show you that you can change your fuel weight. Smoke pods, I think if I put in, is it 10 pounds? Maybe it's 30. And 30. I think it will add in, I can check the numbers on that. I think it actually adds in the ability to do smoke. We do have uh, external stores. If you increase these, you will get uh, four of these uh, fuel tanks on the side. There are no bombs, there are no missiles. You can't have that in sim. We have a center tank, but if we take it down to, hang on, is it down to zero? I need all of them down to zero. So that one, external one, that adds both. Center must be internal. Okay, there you go. So this is your underneath tank. These are your extra. So when you're over 50%, so 51%, you'll have extra tanks. So what we'll do is we'll just stick with the 50% there. I'm going past my entry. Um, so you can have with or without. Uh, now I'm not sure where the pods are for the smoke. I thought they were in the ends of the wings. Maybe I do need more weight. And you know what? I'm going to go without them for the flight. Um, Hang on, that's just thank you. All right, I have none of those. Okay, let's go take this off. So you can have tanks. What do we end up with? We took one, didn't we? I've been playing around the cockpit with my Xbox controller is going to sleep. I use it for my views. There we go. Okay, internal view, looking left, yay, looking right, very cool. Bit of smudge on the windscreen. Okay, are we on takeoff and flaps? Oh, I've gone back up, didn't I? Hang on, we're on it. Take off flat. Yes, one. All right, let's go and hear this. I think that is the sound that we are expecting from one of these. Oh. I'm struggling with my flight from the uh, side view. All right. Animations for landing gear going up. Very nice. All right. We are up and buzzing. So I'll do a quick flight uh, like I normally do uh, around Sydney under the Harbour Bridge back and we will land. Uh, and then my final thoughts. Give this a throw around. See what we can do. Oh, we are still on flat, aren't we? You feel the weight of that uh, centre tank. Let's see if we can get some uh, turbulence over the wings. There we go. Just a, just a little bit, not too much. 
I like that, it's on the wingtips as well. Handles fairly well. Run down these cliffs and back through the harbour. Visibility is good, I think this would be good in a VR as well. goes quite well. Let's do the uh, full pull back, full G's. There you go, get your vapour running over the aircraft there. Looks like we've got an F-117 flying above us. It's interesting. Sorry, I got name tags off if you uh, come to fly with me. I'm going to take this for underneath the harbour bridge. Try not to hit a uh, poke while we do it. There's a large boat making its way through. Handles quite well. Let's see how much we can throw it around. Okay, that's that's almost full over. That doesn't. Uh... Yeah, it's not like uh, not like a normal jet fighter, which is good. I would not expect it to be like that, but it, it still does pretty good. So shake it. That's full full over. Going to take it back and land on the same uh, runway we took off from. And we'll run it back and shut it down. Now, the only thing I would say is that there looks like there's an extra page or two on the checklist uh, that has doubled up, uh, almost like a shutting it back down and starting back up. This would actually be really good in VR. We'll have to try that. Maybe I'll make a recording on that as well. I like the sounds. We we'll need to slow down. Oh, look at that for slowing down. Yeah. And a 170. Just realize I have my trim down. Didn't zero it out like I thought I had. Easy to fly. I have been playing with this for a month or so. Um, and there have been some extra improvements. I'm actually quite happy with it. I think it would be too. Much better than the last one we had. How nice is that? Okay, you don't have the uh, gathering gun at the front. And you're not going to uh, ever be able to shoot it from the looks. I really mucked up that by uh, <laughs> having the camera go around. I'll leave that in. Smoke. All right, let's try the brakes. Yeah, yeah, they slow us down pretty good. Okay. Follow this uh, airliner down here. I might actually park it in uh, and finish the jet star. Up all the way up. I might have to go past you. Go park with the other guys over here. All right, um, A10 Demos Inc. on the marketplace and on Xbox. 
there are already some updates. Uh, I think what I've, uh, some of those things I showed you in the checklist and some of the things not showing up are already on the future update list. Um, I think one of them was, uh, there was a 74 written backwards on one of the wing tails on, on one of these or the likes. That is already going to be updated as well. So if you have purchased it and go, oh mate, you've got something back in front. And I'm going to park the wrong way here. Oh well. Oh look, there's another one over there already. Love it how the airport spawns them in for you. Maybe we should go and park next to it. Singapore Airlines might mind me coming in behind. It's the Red Devils. 100th anniversary. Love it. Ooh, let's, let's go and park those wings next to each other. And ladders are already down. Look at that. So, unlike... I wonder if I put my canopy up, his canopy will go up. I think that only happens in multiplayers. No, it actually does happen here. Oh, am I hitting him? Oh, that's not cool. That's an AI. Where's my, where's my button? There it is. Uh, maybe I can't put the ladder down until I actually shut the plane down. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, now that I'm next to him, his ladder's gone. Um, I like it. Uh, if you've if I've missed anything and why are we shaking? I don't know. Lights off. Uh, it might be where I parked. Um. If I missed anything, uh, put a comment down below. Uh, did I not press my button? Oh, I pressed it twice. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. Thank you. Oh, and he's just come down as well, uh, even though it was down earlier. All right. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Um, if there's some updates, I may actually make a separate video for that. Uh, if there's anything that does get... Uh, modified and changed. There will be a paint kit for this as well on flightsim.to after release. According to the developer, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye.